let's try to learn our first Java program in IntelliJ IDEA. Try to create our first project and see the basic functionalities provided in this ID. I have IntelliJ IDEA 2023.1.7 installed and this is the UI looks right now. It may change later on with other versions but more or less it would remain kind of similar. So let me click on new project. Once I click on new project, this is the widget that appears. Let me provide a project name. Under name, there is a location. I have selected this directory earlier while creating other projects. That's why this location is selected. You can also provide your custom location. Going down, this create git repository, we don't need it. So keep it as is, unchecked. Language is Java. Build system IntelliJ is selected by default. In your case, if it is not selected, just Click this. JDK in my system 1.8 is already installed. IntelliJ IDEA has picked up that. In your case, if it is not selected, what you can do? You can click on Add JDK and point to your JDK location. Otherwise, you can download also. I would suggest have JDK installed in your system and point IntelliJ towards that. So, to do that, you just need to click over here just to show you in my case. The JDK is present here. So if I select this, this JDK would be added. I'm clicking on cancel because already IntelliJ has detected my JDK location. I can automatically generate sample code, but I want to write it just to show you some other features. So I'm not checking this particular box. On the left hand side, there are other options also like Maven archetype, Java FX and etc. We are not focusing on that for the time being. Let me click on create. Let's just maximize this ID. Now, initially on right hand side, this pop-ups may appear. You don't need to bother much. You can just close them. This is the basic project structure you can see over here. This is our main focus area, this source directory. Here we have to create the packages and Java classes. Let me right click, new, package. I just created a package, org.intellijbasic. This is the package. Let me create a Java class, new. Java class just providing a name like sample press enter so this is the class that is created public class sample so if I want to create a main method you can just type ma or main what happens this sort of options appear so IntelliJ provide a feature called live templates so some common code snippets are provided as live templates if you type a short version of that this options appear and if you select, as you can see over here, public static void meant with the braces are created automatically. So these are the basic features of IntelliJ IDEA. I'm going to write a print statement over here. For that also, we have some template. If you type S out and press enter, it would give you system.out.println. Another way, like if I want to show you the coding assistant over here, if you just type sys, all these options are coming. You select one of them. Say I have selected system. Then if I press dot, the other options would come. You can select out, maybe press another dot and then get printed. So these are the basic features, the coding assistant that is available in IntelliJ IDEA. Let me just get rid of the second line and provide some input over here. So this is my piece of code that I'm going to run. I can run it from here. If I directly right click over here and click this one, it would run. Another thing. You can see these buttons are there. So method wise, it would give you the option to run. If you click over here, you can run this main method. This is the class level one. You can debug also if needed. So let me just run this. Right click run sample dot main. One thing you might have noticed the console appears now and it is printing hello IntelliJ. And another thing that just appeared here is this out folder. This out folder is the location where the compiled classes are placed. Let me open this. If you see, it has production, then our project name, then the package structure. And this is, if you see, sample.class. Now, how this out folder got generated? So here, we have learned what we need to do to run a basic project, right? But there are other aspects also. If you want to compile the class, this time when we saved it, automatically it got compiled and this dot class file was generated. But if I make some changes, if I save it, it would be generated. But the other option is to use this feature, build. You can just click over here and it would be built. Now this dot class folders would be automatically generated. The settings is like that by default. If I delete it, it would get generated. Let me just delete it. Now I have not done anything. If I go to build, build project and 
the build is going on and it is getting generated again in case you want to have a better idea on the overall project click on file this particular section is very important project structure if i click over here it provides me important information about the overall project setting what is the name what is the asdk if i want to point it to some other jdk i can do it from here the language level by default it has selected the sdk default which is 1.8 in case we need to change it, we can do it from here. I won't do it for the time being. And here you can see the compiler output it is showing within the project this out directory here the compiler output would be stored. We can customize this by clicking over here. Another important part if you see modules, if you click over here, I have this source, the language level is project default. I can change it from here. If I click on path, if you see this compiler output, and this output path has all this production then first project so i have production here also so it is dependent on this particular setting then there are other aspects like libraries facets etc that is not important for the time being so what we have done we have created a sample java program a java project for core java in intellij idea we have created a sample class we have compiled it and we have run it successfully that is all for now